Let's have a look at the historical development of diodes. Although the modern semiconductor diodes, which are used nowadays, do not work on the principle I'm about to show you, this principle is of more than just academic interest. It will help us to understand some important devices later on. The story starts in the late 1800s, when a number of people noticed that negative particles were being emitted from hot filaments. These included Friedrich Guthrie and Thomas Edison. Edison had been trying to cure a number of problems with light bulbs, and as part of his experiments, he tried putting a positively charged plate into the envelope of a light bulb and found that a current flowed. However, he didn't follow this discovery up. The British physicist John Ambrose Fleming later realised that this effect could be used as a detector in radios. But more about that later. Let's look at the structure of the device which he created. I'm going to simplify the operation of the device slightly in this explanation, but the essentials are correct. Firstly, the electrons in the filament gain energy due to its heat, and some of them get enough energy to escape the confines of the metal and make their way into the vacuum of the envelope. From here, they get attracted to the plate or anode, because it is positively charged and attracts the negative electrons, and flow back to the battery. Of course, if the polarity of the battery were reversed, and was the other way around, the plate would be negatively charged and the electrons would be repelled, so no current would flow in it. Hence the diode action described in the first video. The device allows electricity to be conducted when the battery is one way around, but not when it is the other way. These light bulb-like devices are called fermionic valves in the UK and vacuum tubes in the USA, or sometimes electron tubes, and were used extensively until the 1950s when semiconductor devices started to take over. However, we'll see in some later videos that they still have some uses in electronics. They have many disadvantages, however. They're large, heavy, delicate, and the filaments which heat up make them hot and they can also burn out. You might also note that this device explains the origin of the name diode. It has two electrodes, the filament and the plate. 